We want to welcome you all to Jackson Hole. We are at the Jackson Hole Shootout Gang. We are the longest running show of its kind in the country, and this is our 50th year. We're pretty proud of that. Now, right away, I need to ask you folks to please stay behind the red rope. Those red ropes are there for your protection and ours. We do use real guns, some of which are pro provided by Freedom Arms out of Freedom, Wyoming. Now, even though we fire blanks, they can be deadly at close range. We'll give you a brief demonstration. What? So please do not push your children or mother-in-law across the road. Now these orange cones are here for a reason as well. At one point during the show, we're gonna have a stagecoach coming right through here. Now through trial and error, we have found it does work best if you move. But don't worry about when we'll come through at one point, we'll ask you to make a hole. If you'll get behind the orange cones, let the stage go past. After it's gone past, you can fill that hole back in. Now, I would like to introduce to you the very first marshal here in town. He's 82 years old. We know him as Big Steve, and that's that grizzly-looking fella right there. We have to give a special thank you to the Snake River Sporting Club, who's been so instrumental in our being out here this year. So if you get a chance, if you can stop up, see what they're all about, and maybe give them a thank you on our behalf, we would appreciate it. When the show's over, we do invite you to take a trip on down here at the stage stop, take a ride on that stagecoach, get an idea what transportation might have been like way back when. You can also find our 50th anniversary water down there as well. Now a couple facts about Jackson Hole. The Chico's building back there way back when was known as the Crabtree Inn, and that's where a man by the name of Robert Leroy Parker used to stay when he came to town. Although history remembers him better as Butch Cassidy, and believe it or not, Jackson Hole is known for having the very first all-women's city council in American history. <laughs> yeah, whatever. After the show's over, we'll be up here under the arches selling the wanted posters for $3. Feel free to come up, get one of those, have everybody sign it. Now that we do like to get an idea where everybody's from each night, how many people do we have from the east side of the country? Not many, but they're noisy. How about the west side? Anybody from the Midwest? How about down south? Do you have anyone from foreign countries in Texas? Does not count. <laughs> okay, do we have anyone from Texas? All right, welcome to America. <laughs> now the most important question of the evening, who's ready for a shootout? Yeah. We, let, let's try this again, because in Wyoming we like to make all kinds of noise and annoy all of our neighbors. Idaho, Montana, Colorado, we're really not picky. Let's try this again. Who's ready for a shootout? Well, we're glad you are, because we're not. But if you give us one moment, we'll get started. Are you ready for a shootout? Woohoo! Yeah, you're ready for a shootout. Are you troubled by a lack of sleep? Are you aware that rigor mortis is the leading side effect associated with death? Good friends, Doc's pain be gone just might be the cure you're looking for. And if you're not cured with just one sip of Doc's pain be gone, well, I reckon you might want to drink more of it. So if you care to cure your care cures beyond caring, remember, Doc's pain be gone is the one for you. Doc, I need a word with you. I, uh, sure, Judge. What's up? The top hole on your two-story outhouse. That's what's up. Didn't you read the warning label, there, Judge? You mean the one that says, don't read this, is the hole that's next to is dark? That's the one. Yeah, I was in the process of reading that, Doc, when it went dark. Well, that's why there's an umbrella hanging on the wall. <laughs> the point is, your two-story outhouse is a bad idea, and I want the town's money back. 
Sorry, Judge, but there was no money back guarantee with the top flop from flop 2000. Doc, you leave me give me... What? We need a word with you. You couldn't keep it to one word if you tried. Idiot! Okay, maybe you can. Judge, your new thing will Uh-huh. Now, what's that all about? Uh, she was just commenting on your cologne. Yeah, right. Yeah! Doc, is there any chance you two might be related? Well, she's kind of an odd duck. <laughs> well, you never know with my luck. Could be my mom. <laughs> well, speaking of loco, Mabel, would you care for a slug off my bottle? I know when I drink it, it makes you look better. Well, <laughs> make sure and save a slug for me. It's a bit. Oh, Ouch. Ouch. Or paint me feel better at any rate. I'm the last slug, too. Well, that, that didn't hurt. You know, Mabel, I don't care what you quackos stand for. That's just a call for. It's not quacko, it's wacko. See the sign? C W A C C O. Wacko. 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 Well, wacko, quacko, either way, it's definitely you women. No. Yeah, that's kind of nifty. It is. Yeah, that's kind of wacko. Yeah. You should. Yeah. Get your job. Yeah. Yeah. First thing we're gonna do is write a formal report and have Judge disbarred. Yeah. Let's go, ladies. Wow. Disbarred? How in the world did you manage to get yourself thrown out of a bar while standing in the middle of the street? You're a man of many towns, Judge Judy. You know, Doc, maybe we ought to keep that Houston Marie Outhouse here. We could turn the bottom hole into the ladies' room. <laughs> I'll make the sign. Wackos, go below. Yeah, sounds good. What are you looking at? <laughs> 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 They're not fun around, boys. Remember, we're headed out the town blind. We need to look over things and make plans. Just like Shady Snake told us to. Don't go cause and tell the full work folks. You understand? About time you boys got here. Yeah! Hey, what are you doing here? I thought you went insane. Shady, I thought she was coming in on the stage. Nah, I just sent that telegram to throw him off. Judge Sheriff should be getting his anytime soon. We'll spook him into leaving town. Good idea. Yes. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Good question, Mumbler. What we're going to do is plan. Case of town, plan a robbery. Snot nose, you come with me. You, you five head that side of town. Go we'll rob Jackson State Bank. We'll meet back here and the fun will begin. Doc, I said no. We're not going to sneak into the church and replace the holy water with Doc's pain be gone. Yeah. I don't care how spiritual you think it would be. Good. What? It's for you. <laughs> yeah? You don't say. All right. Thanks. Phonograph. Well, what was that all about? Well, they said the Shady Snake had been pardoned. They're arriving on the next stage in town today. Pardon? How in the world did they get pardoned when we shot him and his boys down last summer? What, was a Grim Reaper all teary-eyed after watching Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> no, Doc, him and his boys never died. They were just badly wounded. Wounded? 
How come nobody ever told me? Didn't think it was necessary. Not necessary. All you do is keep me in the dark and feed me you know what. Yeah, Doc. Well, I can see it now. When I go down in history, I'll be listed right behind all the other great men. Doc. Alexander the Great, Ivan the Terrible, and he kept bringing up the rear, Doc the Mushroom. Yeah, just get a grip, Doc. That, that didn't hurt. You're just going to have to simmer down now. There's no sense of getting all riled up over this. No point in getting riled up. Old Shady Snake and his boys, they're not likely to go forgiving me for setting them up. Or you for sending them up, for that matter. Quick, you go get pack your pantyhose and garters. I'll go get my still. We'll make a run for the southern border. Maybe go to Yellowstone. <laughs> well, speaking of garters, Doc, I got a lady to call on. I'll see you later. Well, I, I got a question for you. Well, why not? I'm just trying to buy a ticket on the next stage out of town. Because every time I loan you money, you give me some excuse to go drink it up instead. Well, I can loan you <laughs> Judge, we need to work with you. Mabel, you vile and undecent person. No. I didn't even I ask know you that. What you want? The answer is no. Well, what no. if we? How about no. if we? Well, why no. not? No. You wackos are drunk with power. I think I'm gonna start my own club. Yes. What kind of a club are you? Our God Staggers International. No. Since men are the opposite of women, then the S A N E, or SANE for short, well, it'll be the opposite of wacko. What does S A N E stand for? Stop answering no to everything. <gasps> and me and the judge, we're going to be the first two men to be insane. Pero si de veras que yo te lo dije desde el otro día, Doc, que tú estás bien loco. Olay! <laughs> and I don't even speak French. <laughs> But I'm going to have to borrow that few dollars from you there, Miss Whatchamacallit. Why are you loaning you money make me look insane? Well, just what do you wackos want anyway? Just to let you know that we're no longer satisfied only being in control of the town council. So we are running against you in the elections this fall. <laughs> Women as judge and sheriff. <laughs> now that's funny stuff there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's going, she's going that didn't hurt! Ha, and in the meantime, on behalf of the Women and Children's Congressional Organization and the Town Council, we are, as of now, your official deputies. Does your love have anything to say to that, Speaky? Well, on behalf of those of us who are currently insane, our official reply, it's probably have to be... <laughs> Did you hear all that, Doc? I sure did. How dare they threaten to close down all the saloons? <laughs> no, I mean the part about them being my deputies is gunning for my job. You know, we need... What? We need to find some more men to be insane. Yeah, you could be right. Come on, let's go do some recruiting. Start with him. Snake River Sporting Club was really loaded. And they had a lot of money, too. I never expected the hiking to have so much money, neither. Too bad it's all finished. Wonder what's keeping the boys at the bank. Who knows? What you? It took you boys so long besides messing with the torque. See, Shady, I told you they couldn't do it right. Well, uh, don't matter now. Stage is coming. Cody, you get the stage stop. Not know the mumbler. You do the talking.
It comes. Here it comes. Hold it right there, driver. Alright, now get that rig on out of here. Hey! Oh, missed it again. But thanks to Doc's pain we got, that did not hurt. <laughs> well, well, well. Howdy, Doc. Uh, howdy, Shady Stick. Well, it sure looks like Lady Luck's on our side tonight, huh, boys? But it ain't my fault you girls got shot up last year. It's those wackos, they're crazy, you know. Girl? Hey, boy, bring Doc over here. Oh, all right, but I gotta warn you, I've been drinking Doc's pain be gone all day long, and now I find you almost mildly attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but, it was, but it was your plan that went wrong last summer. <laughs> That didn't hurt. Yeah, well, I got shot three times because of you. That didn't hurt either. Now, I broke back. Hey, got time. You know, you boys kind of kick like sissies. That just didn't hurt either. Lucky for you, I'm not a bucket. Just hold it right there, boys. You're all under arrest. Oh, boy, look at this. Uh, not today, we're not. Yes, you are. Vaporized them. Uh huh. <laughs> All that shooting and they still got away. You're a bad shot, Judge. You know, Doc, we probably need a round of a posse to go after. Come on, help me out. Oh, yeah, it's we when people are shooting at you. All that shooting in yellow still got away? <laughs> yeah, the judge couldn't hit water and they fell out of a boat. Well, see, yes, I'll be here. Mama, did I say yes? Yes! I can't believe it, Doc. Not one person was willing to join my posse. Yeah, well, don't feel bad. Nobody wanted to be in my club, neither. Well, I wonder why. I mean, you got such a great catchphrase. Hello, would you like to be insane? Out of the way. You can pay me your dues. Dead men walking. Yes. Dead men, pretty boy, too. Get over here, pretty boy. Well, nice work there, deputies. Deputies, what? Don't encourage it, Doc. Oh, no. Looks like it really does take a woman to do a man's job around here. Well, why don't you women get the outlaws up to the table? All right, you two, listen up. You're being charged with robbing the bank, robbing the stage, real estate office, and the ice cream parlor. You got anything to say to that? Yeah, Judge, we ain't got no lawyer. Jumping since we don't have a lawyer, let's postpone the trial. Yep. Uh, Shady, you get back over here, we'll find a lawyer for you. 
Who you gonna get? Judge and lawyer within 20 miles of here. Hey, Don. What? Come here. Nope. You should be this too, lawyer. Great. I always did want to get paid to be a liar. I said lawyer, not liar. Potato, potato. Ah. All the same, really. Doc, we get found guilty, I'm gonna pull you full of lead. That, that didn't hurt. Well, good. Get back over there on your side of the table. Jeez. Ladies, why don't you round us up a jury so we can get these two a quick and speedy trial? Anybody named Sam? Oh, uh, you're too tall. Sorry. <laughs> go, go back. You want me in the jury? Hey, who threw up on your shirt? <laughs> go up! It's pirate. I'm starting to kind of feel like I'm in a really bad Willy Wonka movie. <laughs> All right, you two. You know the charges. Now, how do you plead? Your Honor, my clients have managed to convince me of their incidents, and we would like a mistrial. Yeah. A mistrial? On what grounds? On the grounds that we would prefer to miss this trial. <laughs> well, you can't have a mistrial, Doc. Well, I guess we're going to have to know what proof you got. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we ask these folks right here? No, let's not. Has anybody here seen these two commit a crime? No, you Raise your hands! No, you didn't! No, you didn't! Yes! No, I object! There you go. I object. That's circumstantial evidence. On what grounds? They're eyewitnesses. On the grounds they won't cooperate makes for a really poor circumstance. Well, I have to agree, Doc, but overrule. Hey, guys! Do we want a hung jury? Yeah! We hey. think you should hang the jury instead of my clients. No! Woo! Woo! No, I you can't you have a hung jury either, Doc. Cooperative. Now, do these two rats have anything to say in their defense? Well, these rats, as you call them, since they're being tried, we must assume that you have a rat, rip, rip for a rat, and we demand to see this rip, rat, rip thingy. I've had enough of your nonsense, Doc. You hired me. Jury on the charge of robbing the bank, the stage, yeah. the real estate office, and the ice cream parlor. Are they guilty or innocent? Yeah. 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 I'm going to sue every one of you for your allowances. Probably more than you've got in your pocket right now. Well, you won't give me any money. Yeah. Come on, get him over here. Now, you two listen up. Having been found guilty, I have no choice but to sentence you both to be hung till dead. What? Ladies, you take him away. Yeah. That was a little quick, wasn't it there, Judge? No. Not for me, it wasn't. Yeah, it's a good thing you boys like hanging out together because we only got one rope. I ain't got him. Come on, Snotnose. We haven't got all night. And you have? Jeez. Have you two got any last requests before we stretch your neck and whack you like pinatas? Yeah. Okay. How about don't do it? How about you, Snotnose? Yeah, I think we need a new lawyer. Yeah, you probably did. By the power of this. Give me that. We'll be back to get even with you. Hello? We had a deal. What? Hello, bad guys? Ha. Well, I ain't looking over my shoulder. Ah! Looks like we get to be Judge Jory and Executioner. How's it feel, Judge? How's it feel to bow like this? Hey, we're doing Boy, don't ever pass out in the middle of a gunfight. Don't come yet. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jackson Hole Shootout Game! Oh. We'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight. For those of you who would like pictures or posters, we'll be up here to this arch for a few minutes selling the posters. We want to thank you for coming to Jackson Hole, the last and best, the old west! I'm out of bullet. That's the only one named Sam that I know right there.
There you go. Alright. Well, now you got one free hand.